Steph Walleen. I'm so excited that you're joining us so live on air. Lindsay. But you are so not new to this, obviously, because it's bred in the family. But more than that, you will have a passion for flowers. You have a passion That's for right. these hard to find, easy to grow pieces. And this is all about bulbs. That's what we're talking about in this Roberta's Unique Gardens, um, are all these beautiful bulbs. Fall bulbs, spring blooming. What in the world is this gorgeous flower in front of me? Because I'm not even gonna attempt to say the name. I don't blame you. It's hard to say. <laughs> this is our four-piece Crown Imperial Fritillaria collection. Fritillaria the collection. Fritillaria. Try to say that 12 times fast. <laughs> and this is our Rubra Maxima color, a bright, fiery orange. You know, these beautiful bell-shaped flowers that really come together as a crown mm -hmm. with crown jewels. And it really transforms your garden into something of royalty. Mm. Well, they're absolutely gorgeous. This is M508. Four, three is your item number, just $26 for four bulbs. Um, and I mean, look at this. Just look at them bucks. in your garden. Yeah. They're such a stately, you know, they stand like an imperial soldier almost. I mean, you can't miss them in your garden. And just they come together, these cluster of bells to create this beautiful crown. And look at them, in, you know, behind your shorter flowers like your tulips. Mm -hmm. They really give your garden a beautiful dimension and depth. Yeah. And I mean, against a blue sky, you can't miss this almost kind of southwestern, fiery orange red. Uh -huh. And it just is like such a unique flower that I had never seen them before and we just had to bring them to QVC. They're, they're absolutely awesome. You look at this. Look at those. This tuft of green leaves yeah. with this really sturdy three to four foot stem. You know, there's no need to stake these. You know, they're, they just, speak for themselves they just really hold their ground in the garden so in this case we we've talked so much about the um the zones and where we can plant these can this go for for all across the country or what are we talking about that's with such this? a great question these can actually grow you know if you live in maine and you move down to miami and you're like oh no i can't have a beautiful spring garden because they need that winterization mm -hmm. period these will grow anywhere in the country you know the coldest they are hardy down to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, but they can also take a hot, sticky, humid summer in Miami. So they're really great for any spring garden. And when will these bloom? So how, when, what happens here? Great. So I love the Fritillaria because they kind of bridge the gap between your early spring blooms, like your early tulips, and your summer color. These will bloom four to six weeks between April and May. So you know when your early color starts to die, these will pop up and no one else in your garden will have color. And so mm -hmm. everyone will be walking by, Nancy, what are these beautiful orange bells in your yeah. flower? And then you get a chance to, you know, toot your own horn and tell them exactly what these are. They're really magical flowers. And everything that you're seeing here tonight, they're all perennial. So they're gonna come back year after year after year. Mm -hmm. And um, and so what about fertilization on these? Do I need to fertilize these? Like how often? You know, when you get their bulbs, they'll be perfectly ready to be planted. Okay. And so you can give them a little bit of water and a little bit of a flower magic or spray, spray and flourish. Okay. But you know, what I love most about the Fritillaria is that they're super easy to maintain and actually they'll protect your entire garden. Oh, what do you, you mean know, by that? Look at it in your garden. So, you know, they're spread out everywhere. The bulb has a sweet musky aroma that we humans, we can't smell it. Mm -hmm. But you know, your critters, your moles, voles, your deer, they can smell it underground. And for whatever reason, they're just not fond of it. So plant them everywhere throughout your garden and it's truly a life insurance policy. Mm -hmm. You know, it protects your summer bulbs from being dug up and your other spring flowers from being eaten. Awesome, so that's M508 for three, $26. This is the first quantity of the season. Don't miss out on that. That's the four piece Crown Imperial Fidelari. Uh, Fidelaria. Fidelaria. You'll get it, it's okay. Um, collection, <laughs> gorgeous. And by the way, if you ever wonder like, how in the world do I plant those? What, what happens with the bulbs? How do I fertilize those? What's going on? We give you a grower's guide to That's every great. single piece that you're gonna get and keep those. Don't throw those away after you've already planted them. Keep them in a little space. I have mine um, in my right where, with all of my exactly. little spades and things like that. If you like forget that, anything, all, all of our do. flowers come with right there. a gotta grow with our gotta grow guarantee in our little inserts. You know, so inside it tells you exactly when to plant them, how deep, how far apart. Mm -hmm. It's really great. So you know, if you forget any of this, you'll get this. I guarantee it. And it will really help you out. Yeah, what do you have to worry about? Okay, so you have two of the tallest exactly. um, flowers in the show. Both of these come in about three to four feet tall. Oh my gosh, and I these are called the Globe Master Collection. The Allium? Uh, Allium Globe Allium? Master. This is why I, mean, I should never to like, you know, even really be a part like of naming anything. the world in the palm of your hand. Oh my gosh. Just look at the size of this flower. It's oh. beautiful. Hundreds of star-shaped flowers come together just to give you this beautiful, bright purple, 
sphere that you know no one in, else in your neighborhood is going to have these flowers yeah, guarantee that you know out of 750 allium varieties it's probably the largest because these will grow to eight to ten inches in diameter mm -hmm. and three to four feet tall okay and with all this foliage too foliage mm. with all this beautiful the foliage green, yep oh my gosh it's gorgeous it's so beautiful. nineteen dollars and ninety eight cents for three of the bulbs um and so obviously if you want to have more than that buy more more buy more than one set on this one you're going to want more so m50851 is your item number here and so you've described the flowers where mm -hmm. do i want to plant these like where should i plant these bulbs so because of the height, you know, I love to plant these along your fences, as you see here along the side of your home, mm -hmm. you know, behind your shorter flowers to give your garden a natural sort of nice dimension look. Mm -hmm. And really, they'll grow anywhere because they'll take full sun mm -hmm. to dappled shade. And let me go ahead and show you how to plant them in your garden. Okay. Or these even are big bulbs. That's they're big, super farm fresh bulbs, you know, no preservatives like you'll find in 